Hi. You will have noticed at the start there, there's this side of the grass is longer than this side of the grass because I haven't finished the lawn. That brings me to a, a topic that I wanted to talk about uh, today, and that, and, uh, and t talking about work and finishing work and things, and that's um, things that prevent speed in doing work. <clears throat> it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, the principles that I want to talk about today don't, don't determine, are not determined by the type of work, whether you're cleaning, mowing the lawn, <coughs> physical work, uh, chopping down a tree or, um, or uh, doing a project management planning or uh, analyzing things, uh, learning to, you know, creating a teaching plan, doesn't matter what, what type of work it is. Some things prevent work being done at better, a higher speed than others. And um, there's four things that I want to focus on today. That I, I like this is stuff I'm, I'm relearning. As you can see from my hairstyle, I'm not 21 and I'm still learning. Number one, not understanding the task. Number two, not bringing the correct gear. Number three, not visualizing the task all the way through. And four, not having a checklist. The consequences of this, I'll get to the bottom line, the consequences of this can be severe. Yeah, that's a, that is a, a goat in the background. And so, <clears throat> not understanding the task uh, you know, if you work a, um, in an environment <coughs> with a lot of background noise or um, you're distracted when someone's giving instructions or they don't give instructions properly or they say, hey, this, that, them, they, instead of specifics, that can affect the ability, your ability to, to understand the task, right? And, and it can be quite severe the problem can be quite severe and so <clears throat> and so that's an that's an impact not bringing the correct gear and it's kind of related to not having a checklist but you know sometimes you can not bring the correct gear um, <laughs> sorry to <laughs> sorry to repeat myself but that can impact like <clears throat> um for example, you're on a Teams meeting. I'll take it away from physical work. You're on a Teams meeting and you don't have the correct gear or the ability, the skill or whatever to bring up the onto the screen that you're talking to the people who are on different locations are looking at a screen and they're seeing your face like I, you can see me now. And then to bring up a screen that you wanted to talk to. Well, that's not bringing the correct gear if you can't bring it up or you've forgotten about it or you, or whatever the case may be. Not visualizing the task all the way through. This, for me, this embarrassingly is a problem. So I can go away from my task and come back, like I might be a break for lunch or a break for the day or, or whatever, come back and and then if I'm working with somebody, they're at one end and I can't remember or I don't bring to mind or I don't stop to think about where is the other end so that we can work from either end and meet in the middle. You know, it's like basic. Like, how can I pee that dumb? But apparently I can. And um, not having a checklist. Now, if I'd written down in a, in a pocket notebook or something, look, this end is where we're starting. This end is where we're ending. We'll work together. Uh, somebody else might want to work side by side and, or from left to right. Uh, you know, if I just write these things down, or if I'm working on, say, GST, which is VAT, you know, sales tax. If I'm working on sales tax, as an example, I should write down in the notebook, I've only done 
this portion or we're running down to this date or whatever because if I go away because it's boring stuff you know if I go away for a break because it's boring stuff or it takes a long time I need to come back and I need to get straight into it and then <clears throat> I can send it off to the accountant and and the accountant does, uh, doesn't come back to me and say well actually Neil you haven't done it can you please do it well that's embarrassing too and so the consequences what are the consequences of this what will happen sometimes there will be an overreaction that can be nasty that can be inappropriate and if the worker who's done something on this list reacts to that reaction they can be fired I just thought I'd leave that with you don't respond don't respond so things that can prevent speed at doing a, a task at speed include not understanding the task not bringing the correct gear not visualizing not visualizing the task all the way through not having a checklist I'd like you to comment and, and add something to it I'm sure I haven't thought of it all and this is the type of things that helps you to get ahead of 98% of the others in the in the workplace mastering these basics Jim Cecil used to work for um, used to do, do do work in marketing right and uh, he used to travel from place to place stay in Marriott Hotel and and uh, one time he was returning to a Microsoft site and and this person said to Jim oh we're gonna talk about that market nurture marketing again and Jim Cecil said in his recording, that person doesn't care about marketing, no, mastery. That person doesn't care about mastery. So, care about mastery. You will earn more money if you care about mastery. It will happen. Someone will find you. So let's care about mastery to prevent a lack of speed. That's my plan. That's my goal. That's where it's at for me. Thanks for listening.